In this video, we are discussing other types of graphs that is a bar, Pareto, time series and pi. So, at first we are starting with the bar graphs. A bar graph represents the data by using vertical or horizontal bars whose heights or length represent the respective frequencies of the data. So, here you can consider that college spending for first year students. So, here we are having multiple uh, expenditure heads and the respective ex expenditures are written there. So, now we can express it in the form of this electronics that is a dormitory decoration, clothing and shoes. So, the respective categories we are writing here and along the x axis we are plotting the respective in, uh, expenses. So, this is the expenses we are having. Now, this is the respective graphs we are having. Here these bars are horizontal, but if you swap this x and y labels. So, now this x axis has, is now having the expenditure heads and y axis are having the expenditure values. In that case, the bar diagram is showing the bar graph is showing that it did it the bars are in the vertical direction. Next one we are going for the Pareto charts. So, a Pareto chart is used to represent a frequency distribution for a categorical value categorical variable and the frequencies are displayed by the heights of the vertical bars which are arranged in order from highest to the lowest. So, that is very important. So, here we are having different state names and the here we are having the state wise average cost per mile. So, here the numbers are written. So, now they are arranged in the descending order from the highest to the lowest. Now, if we plot the respective graph here. So, this graph is known as the Pareto chart and this Pareto chart will be having the categorical values and the respective numerical values will be plotted from the largest value to the smallest one. Next one we are having the time series graph. The time series graph represents data that occur over a specified period of time. So, over a specific period of time we shall be plotting some data. So, here you can find that year damage in millions. So, 201 to 205 the respective values are given in USD and here you can find that along the x axis we are plotting the years along the y axis we are plotting the damage in millions of dollars and here we are plotting the respective points and then we are just connecting it with some line graph. So, here as along the x axis we are having the time and along the y axis we will be having some value. So, this sort of graph will be known as the time series graph. So, let us go for the last graph type we are going to discuss that is a pi graph. So, a pi graph is a circle that is divided into sections or wedges according to the percentage of frequencies in each category of the distribution. So, you know that this circle is having 360 degree. So, that 360 degree will be divided according to that frequency or the percentage of frequency of these classes. So, here we are having the respective class names and here we are having the respective frequencies and this is a percentage frequency. You know that percentage frequency can be calculated in this way that is 5 into 100 by 25. So, we are getting this one as 20. In this way the percentage frequency sum will be 100. And if I want to calculate the respective degree for each and every category in that case it will be coming like this that is 5 by 25 into 30, 360 degree. So, here you are going, going to get uh, 72 degrees. So, in this way for all the categories we have done the degree calculations and accordingly the pi graph has been drawn. So, in this video we have discussed how the different types of graphs can be drawn. Thanks for watching this video.